Hi everyone, welcome to Show It Better. Here, we are always trying to discover new programs and softwares that enable us to represent our everyday architectural projects in a more practical, faster, and better way. Recently, we discovered ShapeSpark. It is a software to create real-time web-based visualizations compatible with programs like SketchUp, 3D Mats, Maya, and many more. Personally, from what I have seen, I think what makes this program stand out from the rest is its web-based visualization capability. You don't need anything installed on your computer or your cell phone. You can just give your client or your colleagues or your teacher a link to a website and that's it. You can view your project from anywhere. Apart from this, it also has capacity for virtual reality platforms and it has a pretty accurate lighting. ShapeSpark offers some pricing plans that have different options for all kinds of people and businesses. Also, if you want to try it out, they offer a free 30-day trial. There is a link in the description of this video for those that are interested. I so I fiddled around with it a bit and I'm going to show you around so you can see how it works and what the ideal workflow would be. The link to all the 3D models displayed here are in the description of this video. So after you install the program in your computer, there will be an extension added automatically to SketchUp. Having SketchUp opened and ShapeSpark open, you want to click on the ShapeSpark button from SketchUp. You select the scene name and if you want to import the sun or not. After that, you can open your project in SketchUp. You can click on the edit option to start. Here, you're going to be able to browse your project First, you will see the bake window. If you hit the preview button, you will see a quick render of the scene. You always want to do a quick preview to see things like lighting position and overall points of view. If there is a light you want to add or modify, you can go to the light tab and add a point, sun, or spotlight and set it to the right position. It's recommended you do this step before baking. After you have positioned all your lights, you also want to add a light probe. This tool will capture a 360 panorama of the space it is located in, and it will give any reflective materials the correct mapping. After you have done this, you want to go back to the bake tab and bake your scene. If you want to bake a normal quality scene, you will define 100 samples. But if you want to bake a higher quality image, you can put it around 800. Usually with other render engines, you would have to define lighting, material settings, and point of view first, and then you can render your scene. With ShapeSpark, you can do a quick bake and it will give you a realistic effect and still be able to modify your materials in real time. So if there is an, anything off with a material or a light, you would know instantly and not after putting a ton of work in your material and lighting settings. After the first bake is finished, you want to start to adjust your materials. You can go to the materials tab and any object you click on will automatically show up in the sidebar to be modified or adjusted. So let's say I want to add reflection to the floor. I can go to the materials, select the floor and change the roughness value to zero. Here you will see the instant change. Values closer to zero tend to be more reflective and values closer to one tend to be less reflective. You also have the option to increase the metallic properties of, of a material by putting the number closer to one. There are many more options like emissiveness, parallax reflections, bump maps, and double side maps. So if we wanted, we could change these light bulbs to be emissive by just turning on the emissive button on the sidebar. If you want to save points of view, you can go to the viewer tab. Here you can add three different points of view walk, top, or orbit. If we go to the top view and the roof isn't letting us see the space, we can hide it in the objects tab. After having adjusted all your materials, you can decide to make any adjustments to the lighting if you are still not satisfied or to bake your final scene. After you're done baking your model, you can click upload to upload it to the website. After uploaded, you can share the link with your friends or your clients and they can view it from their cell phone, a computer, 
or anywhere that has access to the internet. My point of view for this program is that it is a great option for people that want to be able to render their projects in a real time and very easy and practical way. They can view it from anywhere without having the program installed. There are some things that need correcting, but I think the guys at ShapeSpark are going to be correcting it very soon. Things like the user interface and material options are not quite there yet, but it does look very promising in terms of lighting and image quality. As you guys can see, I baked up two different scenes and these were the results. In the coffee bar shop, things look pretty good. Although some materials have some issues, the overall image quality looks pretty cool. I also baked a bathroom scene and I like the results. The cool thing is that you can navigate this with your keyboard just like a video game. There are some reflections that I couldn't really figure out how to render them well, but overall I like the results. So in some example scenes from ShapeSpark you can see the quality of the lighting and materials and the good results that you can get. So that's basically it. What did you guys think? Would you try it out or not? Comment down below. What are the things that you liked or didn't like? If you want to download Shapeswork, there's a link in the description. See you guys in the next video. Bye.